some fish boards out there, they're like the $2 fish sticks you get in a box, you freeze them, they're not that great. Then you go to that fancy restaurant, you know the one, the one you don't go to every day, got that wonderful like, herb crusted salmon, they give you some nice scalloped potatoes on the side, you get a nice glass of wine with it. This is that snowboard, it's wonderful. Everybody is talking about it online. It is without a doubt one of the most popular boards in the industry right now, we're gonna tell you why. Hello everybody, my name is Nathan Blackburn. Today we are here at Motion Board Shop to talk to you about a LibTech snowboard that I'm really fond of. It is the LibTech Orca. I'm gonna to talk to you about some of the features and some of the technology points that you wanna know if you've been considering a wonderful fish. This board has a medium to stiff flex. It feels pretty good when it's on snow. It feels very stable considering that it's like a medium stiff flex. You can kind of see like it moves a bit, but it's not so floppy that you feel like you're gonna wash out every time you go over seven miles an hour. And I really like the way that this board feels, especially when you get it up to speed. Considering that it's this short, I'm 6'2", I would ride this board in a 153, which is the size you see in front of me, which is super nimble, it definitely floats, and it's able to get itself around the mountain without any shortcomings as far as like, oh, it sinks in snow. So that's what I would say about it. You get to ride this board in a lot shorter size than you typically would. LibTech refers to this as not just another gutless fish, and we couldn't agree more. First off, let's talk to you about the Camber and Rocker Profile. Just like a lot of other Lib boards, this one has a very cool rocker profile. It has the C2X rocker, which means that between the feet you have a banana or rocker. In the tail of the board, you have camber, and especially in this board, you have a lot more camber in the tail than you do the nose. That really helps landing. It really helps keeping the board on edge and feeling locked in when you're riding it. This board has a little bit more gradual camber in the nose, it's a directional shape, so they definitely make the camber directional as well. And so that's really nice. The rocker in the middle makes it really pivoty, very nimble and agile, whereas the camber and the tip and tail when the board's on edge really locks in and gives you some more suspension to feel like your edges are sticking to the snow. After that, you have a really long, floaty nose profile. So when you look at this board from the front, you can kind of see like it really gradually swoops up to allow it to hop up on top of the snow, get over inconsistent snow features, that chop, that chunder, that mid -out afternoon beaten up pow. When you go to the tail, however, you'll notice that it's got more of like this like quick kick to it. And what that does is it allows them to carry the contact point of the board as far back as possible to make this board feel like it has a really long, stable contact length for the effective edge, which is nice. It makes the board feel more stable, which is important for a board that you ride in a shorter size. After that, the aggressive kick just gives it the opportunity. If you do ride it backwards, it's not gonna get stuck, but it's not the most effective kick for riding backwards. And the other thing that I like about this board, it's got a really stiff tail, it really powers through the carbs. It really handles soft, chopped up snow really well. And if you've seen any of the Travis Rice videos, he just manhandles this board through pillows, off of cliffs, and he makes it look very appetizing. And it is, it's a really wonderful board. A couple features that you're gonna like, because it's a LibTech snowboard, it's made very environmentally friendly in the state of Washington. They do a couple of different manufacturing processes to make this a more environmentally friendly board. They do some recycled pieces in here. They also do a very eco-friendly top sheet. We can all get behind that. On the bottom, you're going to get a centered base. It's nice and fast. It absorbs a lot of wax. When you look down it like it is a rifle, you will notice that it has a magnet traction side cut to it, meaning that it just has seven points of bumpy contact. And that really helps to keep the board engaged. It's like having knobbier tires. It just gives you more extreme points of contact along the edge of the board, which really helps with the rockered shape. You're going to be laying trenches on groomers. You'll really appreciate the seven meter side cut that this board has because it is really going to come around quickly. And with that larger camber zone in the back, you'll feel really, really powerful going rail to rail on this board, which is something that I would encourage you to do. I would encourage this board for somebody who is an intermediate to an advanced snowboarder, somebody who is capable of riding in the trees, someone who wants to ride directionally about 95% of the time, but you know, if they do have to ride backwards, that option's still there. This board really excels in the trees. Like, I cannot begin to stress how awesome it is between tight spaces because with a board like this, the volume shifted technology where instead of having a normal height board, you put more width in the waist and you shrink the overall length to make it perform better in a more nimble package and it just floats a lot better. You're putting more of that float underfoot versus in the nose and tail so it's easier to wiggle, maneuver, and that's where I would really like start pushing a lot of people towards this board. If you're riding in soft snow on good groomers in the springtime when it's soft and slushy, you're really going to enjoy this fish. I know I do. If you've got any questions about this board, hit us up at Motion Board Shop or give us a call at 206 372 5268. This is Nate signing off, reminding you to always fucking snowboard and wear a helmet.